everyone, welcome back to another episode of Astro Pill. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be playing uh, another game that I got on this itch.io or itch.io. I know it's probably just itch.io. I really like saying itch.io. I think it's just flows off the tongue, but it's called Fortune 499, which is probably a play on Fortune 500, the, the top list of uh, most revenue maintaining, revenue grabbing companies in the U.S. or whatevs or something. You know, I totally know what I'm talking about. Um, all I know of this game is that you're a fortune teller and you're supposed to make money, crush the competition. I, I don't know too, too much about it. It seemed cute and it seemed like people enjoyed it. So uh, I'm going to give it a try. Let's do it. New game. Ooh, and look at these graphics. We like We look like Kiki. So Cassie, you really want to learn the basics of fortune telling? Usually folks don't take an interest. Yeah, show us! Your work is so mysterious, nobody really knows what you do all day. I'd love to see it firsthand. Actually, I mostly just want to avoid the giant inbox waiting for me back in my office. Huh. <laughs> alright, alright. Here, as an example, let's play a simple game. I'm assuming a tutorial. Here, Laura, you'll play Tom at Rock, Paper, Scissors. To play, you both secretly choose one of Rock... Cassie, we know how to play paper, uh, we know how to play er rock, paper, scissors. I'm assuming she might play, I don't know, man. Okay, well, in terms of the UI, you choose your weapon from one of the three highlighted buttons. Okay, uh, I don't know. Okay, oh no, I've been destroyed. Ha, take that, so much for fortune telling. Shh, Tom, we haven't even done any fortune telling yet. Now this time, Laura, you'll predict which weapon Tom will use. To do so, click on the fortune telling deck to draw a card. These are your cards, right? Yep, you can borrow them. I'll explain what they mean. Okay. Ah, that's the four of scissors. The four of scissors, huh? That tells us that Tom is more likely to use scissors during the next round. I'm more likely to do what now? Don't listen to us, Tom. If you listen, if you listen it'll make the prediction meaningless. Yeah, plug your ears, Tom. Anyways, since it's likely that Tom will choose scissors, you should choose rock. Okay, rock it is. Okay, your opponent misses. Wow, that totally worked. And I only had to draw one card. What happens if I draw like a bunch of cards? Well, a skilled oracle can usually draw up to four cards for a single prediction. But doing so isn't always the best idea. If the cards you draw don't agree with each other, you could end up introducing uncertainty to a previously solid prediction. I want to try drawing four at once. Okay, go for it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's like all over the place. Ah, see, this is just what I was talking about. Since you drew the two of rock, the two of paper, and the two of scissors, your first three cards effectively canceled out your prediction. Huh, okay. But the last card, the three of paper, re-tipped the scales in favor of paper. Okay. Oh, I see. The first three canceled themselves out, but then the fourth one, because everything would just kind of cancel out to zero, the fourth one added a positive. Hmm, I'm not sure I quite get it, but you're saying Tom will choose paper? Not quite. Tom is most likely to choose paper. There's a big difference. Well, then I guess it's scissors for me. Okay. Aha! You can't exchange blows. Ugh, I thought you were going to beat me again. Ugh, did I just outpredict an oracle? A draw? I thought you said Tom was most likely to pick paper! Yes, I said most likely. That doesn't mean 100% certainty. Even the most talented oracles can rarely know anything for certain. Well, that's not fun. Ugh. So I can only use fortune telling to my advantage sometimes. But in something like rock, paper, scissors, having even a slight advantage over your opponent means you'll win in the long run. Hmm. Hey, Cassie, it sounds like someone's calling for you. Oh, sounds like we might need to cut this lesson short then. Interesting, interesting, okay. Um, I don't freaking know, just generic voices for now. Miss Cassie, the boss wants to see you in his office. Maybe he needs to win 60% of a rock, paper, scissors tournament. <laughs> I'm so funny, I'm the funniest guy in the office. Shut up, Tom. Okay, I'll be over there in a minute. You remember how to get there? Just go into the elevator. You remember how to walk? Just use the Waz keys? Yes, I remember those things. I've been here longer than you, you know. Fun times. Wow, wow, woo, or a speed demon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, 
well, that was kind of neat. I guess I just don't get how stuff like that benefits the company. Uh, you don't know. You don't know anything about me. You remember how to get there? Oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to repeat the exact same thing. Darn that boss of yours. Ugh, now I have no excuse to avoid going back to my coffee and uh, to my office and forwarding all those emails. Oh, my life is so hard. Oh, my God. Yes, let's go. Hey, Pete Thompson presents. Welcome, Cassandra. Please come in. What's with the formalities, Derek? You can still call me Cassie. Uh, right, yes. Well, as you know, the company has been growing a lot lately. A lot of new investors are coming on board after our initial public offering. Yeah, I'm aware of all that. Are you okay over there? What's this all about? Yes, uh, well, <clears throat> as the head of the... Excuse me, as the head of the burps, as the head of the magical resources department, I'm receiving new pressure from the higher-ups and the shareholders to, uh, to slim down the department. We're getting fired! Excuse me, I am an essential asset to this company? They want a renewed focus on, um, elemental magic, with an emphasis on projects involving lightning spells. You know, lightning magic and computers. Uh, there's a lot going on there right now. Wizard stuff. Derek, forgive my language, but what the hell? Uh, what? You can try to hide it as much as you want, but it's pretty obvious what's happening here. Basically, your boss has told you to fire the most useless mages from the department, and the first person you thought of was me! Derek, what the hell? C Cassie! I mean, seriously, you of all people know what I've done for this company. How many bad deals did we dodge? How many HR disasters did we prevent? How many dream clients did we conveniently score? Now tell me, how much of that was possible without reading the goddamn future? Cassie, please, times have changed. The company has secured our future. Everyone here knows what to do now. Just show up, don't screw up, keep the shareholders happy, and eventually retire. There's just no future in the future, you know? That's bullcrap and you know it. It's not just that, it's just almost impossible to explain to the higher-ups what it is that you actually do. You make predictions and they give us a competitive edge, but to almost everyone, it looks like a coincidence. To them, it looks like you aren't doing anything, and then they joke about the break room microwave being as reliable as a witch's magic. Wow, okay. All right, we're getting slighted all over the place here. Excuse me. They don't say that to my face. Look, Cassie, I don't want to fire you, but it's getting harder and harder to justify your paycheck. Here, how about this? You do one more prediction for me, tell me whether fate thinks you should stay or not. You're a coward. You're effectively asking me to fire myself because you don't have the guts. You're right. I am a coward. And I'm not suited to this position. I couldn't have come this far without your help. That's why I'm asking for it one more time. <sighs> if you know that much, you shouldn't need a prediction, but fine. I'll give you one last prediction, and then pack up my stuff. Whoa! Uh, what was that? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. Hello? What's going on here? We're monsters. We heard there was a public offering here. <laughs> monsters There's nothing we monsters like more than an offering from humans. And what luck! We jump straight to the magical resources department, but I can only sense one wizard here. The five of us can defeat one wizard, easily. Um, actually, I'm a healing wizard. I can't cast any offensive magic. N no need to even fight, <laughs> right? Ah, oh, jeez, this is not gonna look good on my review. Um, hey, we were kind of in the meeting here. What's this? Did you want something from your new management, human? Yeah, could you just kindly go away? I have had enough nonsense to, to deal with today. Cassie, don't provoke them. Here, I, I bet we can play dead behind the desk. It'll be fun, right? It's totally going to work. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm pretty ticked off right now. I'll get rid of them. Oh, you mean to challenge us? <laughs> and without a single hint of magical energy in you? You're welcome to try. Oh, I'm gonna kick your face in. I'm having the worst day of my life. You are easy pickings. Cassie, what are you doing? Humans can't win a fight against monsters, at least not without magic. Anybody can win a fight if they know what their opponent is going to do. Like, you know, an oracle would. You can think of any physical fight as kind of being like rock, paper, scissors. 
Rock, paper, scissors! Cassie, this isn't a game! Just watch, okay? Okay, um, uh, okay, I, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a card. So they're most likely to do scissors, meaning I should do rocks. Okay, okay. Great. So I guess I shouldn't oh, oh, any t at any time blindly just choose one, right? I should always use my cards? Unless, like, I don't know. I don't see the, any situation where I shouldn't because otherwise I'm going in blind. I guess if when I run out, that that's just it. Um, are they a scissors-loving kind of creature? Maybe, like, certain creatures tend to lean towards certain uh, signs. That would make sense. Ah, what are you doing? You're a monster. You're not supposed to lose a physical fight. That human is just lucky. Get in there and show your real strength. I'm gonna try again. They see, okay, maybe they are a scissors lo Oh, okay. Okay, no, no, I was wrong. So let's see. So plus two meaning not that high of a chance. Cause plus four is what it was earlier. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank on it real quick. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, um, one more card. I'm gonna flip one more. Okay, so they're definitely gonna choose paper or like a much higher chance, right? So I should pick scissors. Wow. So, I mean, it's it's pretty, you know, luck and chance based as, as one would expect, I suppose. Uh, huh. So I guess sometimes I'm just gonna have to choose blindly once I run out of cards. Are you serious? Okay. I am done delegating. Time for me to show you. Time for me to show you blobs how it's done. Look, I'll give it to you, human. You obviously must know kung fu or something. But all that's gonna be useless when I cast this spell to completely sap your strength. Uh oh. Cassie, he just zapped all your physical strength. We gotta get out of here. Your attacks won't work on him anymore. There's no way to beat him without offensive magic. Oh, I was avoiding doing this. I'm gonna pull out my secret trick, my secret card. Uh, doing what? Showing my cards. Winky face. Ooh, is that a joke? A bad joke? Oh, this is no time for bad jokes. I actually can use some simple offensive magic. Really? But I thought you weren't a wizard. I'm not. My magic comes from fate. I have to draw mana from my deck to use magic. Since I can only draw four cards at once, I'll just need to predict and dodge his attacks until I have enough mana to strike back. Okay. Okay, uh huh, okay. Deals one damage without ending your turn. And I can't do it right now because I need to build up some strength. I do, do I do that by drawing cards or do I just, uh oh, oh no. Ooh, ouch, uh, uh, uh huh, um, wait, I am confused. Uh huh. Uh, oh, they're healing me. I see. Do I draw a card? Uh. Well, I I will just continue exchanging blows. I am confused at the moment. Okay. We're we're. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? <laughs> uh. What happens if I run out of cards? I right, reshuffles. Uh, okay. Uh. Am I so I think she told me to just keep trying until until this Oh oh okay okay I don't oh the MP is on the top left I see I understand So I mean I can just keep drawing cards right Ooh Oh uh so okay So I mean if the cards are just gonna keep reshuffling then what? Let's see okay so so uh scissors when does my MP go up? Is it when I go through the entire deck? I am confused. <laughs> I am extremely confused. So we're gonna pick rock. Do I just click on the move? I don't understand what it is that I am doing. We only need to attack them twice. They only have one more HP because they're big fat weaklings. Ha. Huh. I am utterly confused. <laughs> I am thoroughly confused. Oh, uh, oh, oh, ah, ah, there was a mana card. I see, I see. Okay, so that should be it. Okay, okay, got it. I was very confused. Okay, cool, cool. I got some money for killing a demon. Hell yeah. We obviously underestimated this company a bit. 
But this is the Magical Resources Department! A stronghold against monsters! Obviously, we were only a distraction! You'll need more than just one lucky witch to stop our hostile takeover! Bye! Hey, uh, we didn't fight, but I think we should probably, uh, also go, so, uh, see you around! Bye! Ha! In your face! In all your faces! You know what? I don't need to make a prediction. I think you should probably keep me on board, hmm? Yes, I agree! Ha! You'll need me! You'll need me! 500, actually 499. Actually 499. Wow, this music. <laughs> oh! Is this our opening cutscene? <gasps> we are so tired. I mean, we've had a long day. We've had a long day. Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh! Cool! Hey, Cassie, uh, what a day yesterday, huh? Well, uh, it's not really over yet. Can I get some help from you down in HR? Oh, thanks. It's not urgent or anything. It's fine. Wow, uh, Kiki, I guess, I think it said, yeah, Kiki. Cassie, why are you always so busy? Come hang out tonight. I want to hear what excuse you have this time for not quitting your terrible job. Money, probably. Money's a pretty important and big one. Hey, all, uh, reminder that the wizards in the MR department are at a retreat this week. Burning Man, maybe? I guess they need lots of fire magic there. <laughs> if you need any magical assistance while they're gone, talk to Derek at MR about your options. Wait, why does it say Leela at the end, even though it is from Tom? I am confused. Anyways, uh, who is this from? I don't know. AML. Cassandra, we thank you for your contribution in the fight against monsters in the workplace, but our fight is not yet over. This year alone, monsters destroyed the livelihoods of hundreds of middle-class workers. Our organization was founded in opposition. Uh, can I even read the rest of this, or do I not want to read the rest of this? Okay. Uh, ooh, so that's our email. We've got some spells. Great. So that's called zip. Oops, no, I need that. Zip, zap, zop. I need that. Oh, uh, Hmm, I want to play this some more, but I'm still stuck on Catnet. Is that the act? Is that the game be glitched? Because I also have that game downloaded and I haven't played it yet, but perhaps it is created by the same people. I don't know. Uh, future editing me, please put a little note confirming such a thing. All right, let's see. Employee stats, Cassandra, MR, so that's magic rank, I guess. Two, 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 two. Time logged, cool. Duels won, duels lost, lies told. Ooh, I'm gonna tell so many lies. I'm gonna tell so many lies. Karma earned and profit, 20 bucks. That's not much. 20 bucks after all that. Ooh, we gotta, I need a raise. I'm gonna need a raise, okay? Cool. Oh, this is so cute so far. Hey, David, what brings an accountant to magical resources? Well, besides the fact that I'm in charge of MR's budget, I like learning about magic when I'm procrastinating. But this place is pretty quiet. Where is everybody? On a retreat, rant, right? All the wizards are on a retreat right now. Didn't you get the memo? I guess that explains what all these new, uh, what all these new expense reports are for. Oh yeah, speaking of expenses. Ooh, Derek said to give you a budget for some new secret project of yours. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, thanks. I can definitely find a use for that. I may not be a wizard, but I'm a bit of a magician when it comes to budgets, and that's important. That's an important skill to have, and, and thank you for doing so. I might be able to allocate more funds your way if you come see me from time to time. Are you bribing me? Are you bribing me? Are you offering me free money? I'm sorry, what is this? Oh, okay, all right, well, I will see you later. <laughs> I will see you later. Can I, can I sneak up on, can I search people's desks? Ooh, what's this? A motivational poster. It shows a cat imagining a jetpack. The caption says, maybe the future will be cool. Oh, it's gonna be more than cool with me around, with me predicting the future. Ooh, who's this lovely wizard here? Behold, great oracle, our department's vast magical reference library. Hey, Jeremy, library's looking as desolate as ever. It may be desolate now, but spell books occasionally appear out of nowhere. It's almost as if it were magic. Yep, I got it, I got it. Real obvious setup there. Ha ha ha. Can I look at these? Nope. Cannot look at the desolate, sad library. Derek's office. Seems like he's not here right now. Okay. Cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go. Uh, are we... So we're going to... Wait. It, are, where are we going to Derek's office? Oh, is it here? We're, oh, HR department is where are we... Okay, okay. There's Derek. Is there anything down here I can look at? Okay. Let us move on. Hello. It seems the HR department has been taken over by monsters. They showed up with pickaxes and hard hats prepared to mine all of the human resources. 
Uh, could you go clear them out? I think they have a bit of a misunderstanding of what it means for human resources, really. All right, I will do my best. Ooh, this one looks like, doesn't it look like it's a funny face? Is that on purpose? It's got two eyes, a big old nose, and a mouth that's like, oh! Coffee, yes! I am so down for coffee. I bet a cup would uh, restore three HP. It costs $50? Inflation? But I'm all full on HP. I should probably limit my caffeine intake. Oh my gosh. Something I was really excited about recently. So um, I wasn't a huge fan of tea until maybe the past couple years. And I feel like the shift, because I slowly transitioned throughout my life from like, sweet stuff, flavored stuff. Um, I cut out sodas pretty early on, moved on to fruit juices, really, really liked fruit juices, orange juice, uh, like those, the Naked brand juice, Odwella juice, like I really like fruit juices. Uh, and then eventually it just kind of ended up being a little too sweet for me. And then I just, I, I, I just learned the magic of water, really liked water, drank it all the time. But I haven't been drinking as much lately. Like I, I started intaking it a lot more as I did more and more voice acting. But um, I, now it's a, it's a slight, I have to actually kind of time out when I drink it because I have been experiencing acid reflux for like many, many months now. And uh, so I've been switching a lot more to tea because I, I hear that certain types will help. Sorry that I'm going on this, this kick all of a sudden, but we're at the end of the episode anyways. I just want to blab a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, so I learned that caffeine is really, really bad for acid reflux. Uh, but I wanted to drink tea, and so uh, chamomile, I've learned, does not have caffeine because it's like this natural flowery tea, so it just doesn't have caffeine in it naturally. Uh, but I really like breakfast tea, which is basically just black tea, and then Earl Grey, Earl Grey, yes, Earl Grey, Earl Grey black tea, I really like that. Um, but black tea tends to have a lot of caffeine. So I learned that there is decaffeinated versions of it. Still has caffeine, but apparently much less. According to the label, I'm going to believe in it. So yeah, I, I felt really good. Uh, a while ago, I bought my own tea for the first time because I was like scrounging around the house desperately looking for tea to drink and, and just like taking all the scraps of like, do I really want to settle for this peppermint tea here? I don't know, man. And I, I don't know. Uh, couldn't do it. So yeah, I bought those three for myself. Was really happy. Chamomile, Earl Grey, uh, and breakfast tea all with low caffeine. It's been a great, ta a great time. Anyways, just wanted to talk about the drinks, the trends, all that good stuff. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the episode. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's it's very cute. The palette is very pleasing. I like the music. Um, I like the characters so far. Well, like our main character here is, is really great. Um, I like that she looks like Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really digging it. I have no idea what other shenanigans we're gonna get into. I guess we're just gonna keep fighting stuff with our cool powers, punching some monsters in the face, earning earning money for, for our company. It's a great time. Okay, join me next time. This is Axis, over and out.